welcome to our new video. This is Southern Savannah in conjunction with Nerix. Today we're going to be talking about another common problem, which is an overprint when your print is printing. And as you can see here, on the ends here, you see a lot of blue that is spilling over. You're finding that on all the colors, even the magenta is also overspraying. And it's overspraying at all the boundaries here. Now, what does it mean when your print is overspraying like this? And how do we fix it? Stay tuned in this video as we show you all the ins and outs of how to fix that. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, of course, is cancel my job. Right. Now, as I explain this, there are a series of things that could cause this problem. And I'm going to start from the most basic to the most slightly advanced. To start with, first thing is, if I get an overspray like this, and it's only on a certain color, but not on every color. As you can see, from my nozzle test, I have four colors, magenta, cyan, yellow, and black. If I'm getting an overspray maybe only on cyan, I will have to firstly assume that the inks at the back, maybe there's no ink in either of the cartridges. And how do I check? Back, and normally if I'm getting an overspray, it may mean that one of these is empty. So instead of sending enough ink, it's now sending air. That's number one. But in my case, as you can see, all my inks are fine in their level, so the issue is not here. But firstly, we check here. Now after that, I'm gonna go to the other side. So I've checked that, and the next thing I wanna check is everything in line with inking. I'm gonna move the head to the middle so that you can clearly see it as I can. Now, like I said, if my overspray is on all the colors, it's one thing. If my overspray is only on one color, that's another thing. So if it's only on one color, and I've seen that my ink tanks at the back are fine, the next thing I'm gonna check are my dampers. Now dampers are these things here. One, two, three, four, five, six ink sacs that I find on top of my printer head. Understand this, dampers are what are called disposables or consumables. Every four to six months, I have to maintain my machine by changing these dampers and also changing this thing here, which is called the printer cap. It is what covers the head. So my cap and my dampers are the things that I continually have to have in stock and change them at least once or twice a year because they get used as the head works more. So understand, it's not a problem when they fade out, it's simply the way you change more ink to be able to use your machine is the same way that you change the dampers and the cap. Now, how do I know if my dampers are fine or not? Simply, if I take out any damper, and if I see it leaking air, I mean, if I see it leaking ink without even being shaken, if ink is just dripping out, then I'm sure that either my pipe has a hole, or it's empty there, or the damper itself has a poke on it. So I'll simply change the damper. Right, and remember, any of the parts we are talking about replacing here, we have them in stock. With my damper being changed, then I can be able to try again. Right, but remember, if you do not know how to change dampers, this video is not for that. We will make another video of how to change your dampers, change your caps, but we do advise you call one of our experienced technicians to come to you and change your dampers and do a proper service for you. If you are within six months of having done the last service, then you may do it yourself, but if you're after six months of having done the last service, it would be more appropriate that you call one of the support guys to sort you out. Now let's continue. All right. Having checked all my dampers, the next thing I want to also check is the height of my head from the printing material. I have with me here, it's a three millimeter wedge that I use to be able to check how far my head is from the base. And as you can see here, my head is more than twice the thickness of this on top of the material. What that means is my head is a bit it's actually not a bit, my head is way too high on top of the material. That being the case, it means that it is spraying ink, but by the time the ink reaches the material, it has fully opened and it's not able to actually aim the edges as you can see, it's giving me an overspray. So the next thing I wanna do is to set the height of this base here. Now we're normally looking at about three millimeters, two to three millimeters on top of the material for the head. And how do I set the height? First things first, 
turn off your machine. With that being done, the next thing you want to do with the screwdriver is you now want to lower the base. On different machines, these bases appear differently. So I'm just gonna put this here. If you do not have this three millimeter wedge, that's equally fine. Even if you have a two millimeter wedge, it's okay. But the idea is you can get five rand coins, two of them, and place them on each side. That's about three millimeters, 2.8 to three millimeters, which is fine. And then you loosen your base. Right, with my base being loosened, one moment, okay, perfect. I am now able to move my head up and down. Now on different machines, people adjust this differently, but on these models that we supply, you manually have to adjust it. So I'm gonna push it down until it sits on this. This is about three millimeters. But on this model, I was too fine that that could still be a lot. So I'm gonna push it a bit down, a bit more, until I have a good clearance down there. Then I tighten it. On this specific model, I tighten it until I can't fit this. Which is Mimaj, Graf King, Locker. On your models like your Yinge, you find out that your head is actually protruding out of the carriage base. That being the case, that means this thing has to fit another way because your head is lower. But on this model, you find that the head is inside the carriage base. That means I don't have to put this the whole way. This actually can leave a bit more distance because my head is protruding inside this thing here. All right, with that being the case, I always have to make sure that my head is straight and I'm gonna tighten it. There we go. Remember to not over tighten this. These are aluminium brackets. What happens with them is they wear out the more you do this. So if you want them to last a lot longer, you might wanna use sparing force on tightening this. All right, cool. Okay, that being the case, I can see my head is a perfect height on top of that. And remember, I have checked my ink levels, they were fine. I checked my dampers, they were fine. If anything here was the problem, then the first thing I was gonna do is I was gonna change my dampers or increase my ink in there. But once I noticed that those were fine, next thing I just did was adjust my head height. And after that, we're gonna do a clean nozzle to make sure that the ink is moving smoothly. And right after that, we're gonna do a test. And as we do the test, we're going to find out, did what we do change something? All right. So we're done with our adjustments. And the next thing we're doing now is testing if whatever we did actually worked. And as you can see now, we're printing. And I do not have any overspray. You can see the difference between that blue and this blue here. Look at the edges. Very crisp there and very blurry here. Same thing is happening on the side, on the magenta side. You can see that it's not very, it's not very crisp here, but on this side, it's perfectly clear. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is how we fix an overspray: your dampers, your ink level, and of course, the height of the head. The last thing which could be an issue would be the printer head itself having gone beyond its lifespan, which is about 2,000 square meters for this XP600 printer heads. But for other printers, like your i3200 printer heads, your DX5, DX7, 4720 printer heads, those have a much longer lifespan. The issue is highly likely not the printer head. All right, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos on stuff like this and even more. Cheers, happy days.